Welcome again, everyone. Uh, this is a quick case for uh, students, interns, and uh, junior radiology residents. Uh, seniors, uh, this would be easy for you. Uh, however, I'll put a uh, clip attachment at the end uh, to something that we uh, discussed before uh, that relates to this entity and that might be useful to more uh, uh, advanced levels. So students and juniors are looking at this uh, patient who has uh, chest pain. You see this funny appearance. We'll explain it uh, one by one to make it a bit easier. Before that, let's go to a normal case quickly. This is a different normal case. The area that we're looking at is the cardiac silhouette. Okay, so this cardiac uh, shadow here should be homogeneous and the border should be very well defined. If you look here, you might see some inhomogeneous densities, and these are related to tubular branching structures, which are normal vasculature. So this is the normal vasculature of the lungs seen behind the heart. Other than that, the heart appearance seems to be homogeneous. Now back to the abnormal case, uh, you notice that you have different densities projecting over the expected uh, cardiac location. We know from before that you have air density similar to what you see in the lungs, and this is something that you see here centrally. You also have what equals to soft tissue or fluid density here, the white area, and there is a straight line in between. Whenever you see a straight line, that means that that space you're looking at contains air and fluid, and that's why this is called a fluid level or an air fluid level. Now we know that there is a structure that contains air and fluid located either anterior or posterior to the heart. And that's uh, easy to tell by looking at a lateral chest radiograph. Here's the lateral chest x-ray on the same patient. Uh, you see the sternum anteriorly and the spine posteriorly. This is up and this is down. This white thing here is the heart shadow. So this is the cardiac shadow. Here you have the trachea and here you have the arch of the aorta. And the abnormality that you detected on the frontal chest x-ray is located behind or posterior to the heart. You could describe this as being retrocardiac. The abnormality has the same appearance where you have air above and fluid below with a straight fluid level in between. A very common reason to see such an appearance is due to a hiatus hernia. Now, the contents of a hiatus hernia that ascend from the abdomen through the diaphragm into the chest, typically through the esophageal hiatus. The amount of uh, structures that are contained there depends on the size of the hernia. You could have uh, part of the stomach, the entire stomach, or even other organs uh, doing the same thing. This is a chest CT on the same patient. You're looking at the patient from his feet. This is uh, anterior, this is posterior, this is right, and this is left. We will go through the slices from above below you see the trachea, we go all the way down. This is the uh, aortic arch with other mediastinal structures. You go all the way down. And now you see that there is the anteriorly displaced heart with this abnormality behind the heart, this retrocardiac abnormality. The abnormality is uh, corresponding to what you saw on the chest radiograph. What you see here is air density on a CT scan. This is fluid density on a CT scan. Uh, this is a fluid level, similar to what you saw on the chest radiograph. Remember that the patient on a CT scanner is lying on a table, which is here, so the back is to the table, and that's why fluid is below and air is above. If you continue with this, you'll notice that this here is a tubular structure, which represents the esophagus. This is the gastroesophageal junction, and then it connects to the structure, which continues back down again. So most of the stomach is within the chest. So this is a hiatus hernia with a large intrathoracic stomach. And that concludes today's case. For seniors, you'll find here an attachment to a prior clip that has uh, a more advanced discussion regarding intrathoracic stomach with a few good uh, points that you could use in uh, oral or written examinations. Send your comments or questions if you have any. And if you find this useful, 
please spread the word about the account. Thanks for watching and see you with more cases later.